Hi guys, thank you for showing your interest in one has chat. So it's a very comprehensive tool which will be very useful if someone is reaching you, uh, your leads, prospects, or your client is reaching you on different platforms, be it your website widgets or uh, on Messenger or via WhatsApp or SMS or via email and Telegram and so on. So basically, I'll brief you about how these things work. Let's say I have a website and I have put this widget. Someone is pinging me over the WhatsApp widgets. So the, all the two chats will be visible here in my inboxes. I have a separate inbox created for all these uh, uh, channels. And if I'll be assigning these channels to particular agents, these each agents will have access to that particular channel. I can create a team. So let's say I have a sales team and their email ID is sales at uh, one has.ai. So whenever I'll be assigning uh, this email ID to a, uh, a list of agents, that agent will have access to these inboxes. Okay. So basically it's a shared inbox which supports omni-channel support. Uh, whenever a client will be pinging you over the WhatsApp, same kind of message will be popped up in this uh, uh, in, the, in this inbox where you are a team members. You want If you want to assign them directly, you can assign them or else I can put a rule here based on the rules, whatever condition I'll be putting in, it will be automatically assigned. This platform, it does support AI also. Let's say if someone is uh, pinging me, uh, let's say they have a query that I want to subscribe for one CR and please share the details. This is an AI generated message, uh, which how, how, how I can use it. So probably what we can, you can do here, you just have to go to the AI assist and uh, click on reply suggestion. So based on the query that customer is pinging you, based on that, it will suggest you this is a query. Here, it's not just about the query. If you want to change the tone of the query, that is also possible. So those options are there. For this, you have to integrate it with OpenAI. So how you, you can integrate it? You just have to go to the application and here you have to enable it and configure it. To configure it, you have to provide the API details here. Similarly, you can configure other applications like, like Dialogflow for uh, uh, creation of a chat board, diet, and uh, Google Translate if you are supporting in a multiple language. So you can uh, integrate it with Google Translate as well. So inboxes, uh, I'll, I'll brief you how dif uh, different inboxes can be configured in one has chat. I just have to go to the website. Let's say my website name is one has. I'll be uh, updating it as a one has. My domain name is one has dot AI. So let's say if I want to put a, some some message here that, that will be by default visible on, on my chat on my chat widget. So how it will look like? Welcome to one hash. So what will happen if I create an inbox? I have a uh, uh, I, I can assign these inbox to certain certain agents that I've already created. Let's say now this inbox will have access. Rahul and Manus will have access to this particular inbox. So I, I'm adding the agent. Now what I have to do? I just have to copy this code. I have to place this code on the on a header or footer of the website or any of the page where you want to put the widgets, you can copy it and paste it there. So in this, in this way, how it will look like, let's say I have a, I have a, a, you know, any application. So I can use this in in, in, in app also. So you can configure it and put it in app support also. Let's say you have an app and uh, there you want to put uh, your users to reach you over the chat itself. So directly while using the app itself, they can reach you. So in boxes I have now th this level is pretty much useful. Let's say if I, if I want to filter out the data based on city, based on uh, customer segment, based on the plans they are in, uh, whether they are in free plan or or any 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 kind of uh, you know labels I can put in. I can create custom attributes. I can go get those de the data and based on the, that condition I can do certain sort of automations also. This automation is pretty much useful. Let's say at uh, you know, 1 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning, I'm not available on the chat and I want my, uh, you know, uh, one has chat to work at that particular time. Let's say I'm getting a, getting a message from, from on my uh, Telegram channel and uh, I want to greet the people that I have received your messages and uh, want to trigger any kind of webhook event also. So that is also possible. I can trigger multiple conditions. I can trigger multiple webhook events on, uh, on, on a particular endpoint URL. So all those possibilities are there in the automation section. I want to create a macros and whenever a client is reaching me and uh, asking me that uh, I want to know your pricing, what's your pricing. So probably at that point, I can uh, execute this macros and uh, I can directly reply them. I'll, I'll just quickly show you how this macros work. Let's say uh, uh, this particular person has uh, reached me. 
and I want to trigger this macro. It's a pricing query. So I just have to execute this macro. The moment I execute it, this person will receive this message. So it's 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 a kind of uh, better version of can respond. You may say that in can respond, what you do, you uh, save a certain set of uh, queries that is very frequent to you. So you say save those queries and uh, you reply it whenever whenever it is required. So macros is something a, a, a bit ahead of that. You can uh, set certain uh, uh, you know you know set of flow, certain set of queries, and based on that you can execute it whenever the client has similar set of uh, queries. So these are, these things are possible in the system. You and uh, uh, many more things are there. Whenever they are reaching, they can you can capture all the details of your customer. And later on, if you want to filter them out, run any kind of campaigns, that is also possible. Uh, you can import the data, you can export the data, and uh, you can run a campaign. Currently, it's supporting SMS medium, but we are working on uh, multiple SMS campaigns like on WhatsApp. How to run a campaign on WhatsApp? It does support on the, uh, your website visitors as well. So those kind of campaigns are possible. Reports are also very much powerful. You want, you, if you want to see that uh, how many agents replied at what particular time, what was the CSAT, uh, how active was the agent, what was the resolution time. So all those kind of uh, uh, data are available. How active they were, what was the customer waiting time, CSAT, you want to see that. You just have to set it. Once you set it, you will be able to see the CSAT score, what, what, who, who all the agents were there, how many queries they have handled. So all those things are possible in the system. You can run campaigns, as I mentioned. And of course, uh, there is a help center. This is live now. You can have all your uh, help doc document created in the system, and based on the you know queries customer is face uh, sending it to you. If there is a relevant document, you can directly attach in the chat, and of course in the in the in, in the widget itself, and uh, you can reply them back. So those possibilities are there. So this is uh, uh, pretty much useful, this integration. You, if you want to integrate it with the Slack, that is also possible. You can connect uh, it with the Slack. And whenever there is a communication over the Slack, the same, all the communication will be captured in the one as chat also. Similarly, you can do a web hook events and a couple of applications have already discussed. So these things are possible. There are multiple themes also, like, and you can make it, uh, you know, you can change the theme. If, uh, you know, this, this theme is not uh, good for me, I can change the appearance. I can make it light. I can make it dark. I can, uh, you know, use the system. So you can start using the system. If you get stuck anywhere, there is a help doc, uh, uh, knowledge base also that's help dot one has dot ai you just uh, ping what is your query right i want to see that how i can, can create agents so you it will uh, give you a brief information about how you can create an agent you the path is navigated everything is the uh, is pretty much clear so you can create agents you can create inboxes you just have to search your query here the moment you search the query you'll have a, a set of documents available so you can use these things okay so this is uh, pretty much about one has chat. So there is more uh, thing coming in. We have a roadmap where uh, we have started working on generative AI things. The moment we make this uh, product live, uh, the generative AI things live, then uh, probably you will be able to capture all the URLs and uh, based on the URLs and based on PDF or uh, doc, based on that, you can create a chatbot and that chatbot will be trained on your knowledge base and uh, the, uh, any, any kind of query coming in, you can directly uh, uh, you reply them or your chat will reply them automatically to the clients. So th thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope